India got independence in 1947, more than 75 years ago. But we Indians still are so much fond of Western countries. We are so much exposed to Western culture, Western movies and Western companies that probably we have forgotten to value our own. India today is not just called the back office of the world, it is leading the world. Problem is, we are not counting those achievements. At the same time, we are cursing our own country and people. So in this video, we are going to highlight top 10 companies and their achievements in the biotech sector and how they are ruling the world of biotech with their leadership. And I'm not just here to talk about, you know, just filmsy achievements. These are real achievements by real companies, real leaders who are ruling this world of biotechnology. What amazes me is how biotech industry grew from 20, 30 billion dollars to 163 billion dollars as of today. In last 10 years, we have seen that growth. Now, which are the companies which are which is leading this growth? And how can you get into these companies? What are they doing? What are their products, services? Nobody's talking about that. All we know, all we see is the bashing on the internet. There is no scope in biotech. There's no future in biotech. If there is no future in scope in biotech, then how these companies, how the hell these companies are growing? How are they leading the world? So let's find out what are those 10 companies. Starting with Bharat Biotech. Bharat Biotech has developed Covaxin, one of the first WHO approved COVID-19 vaccines from India. It is known for its work in vaccines for rotavirus, Zika, chikungunya, and typhoid. Their vaccines are supplied into 123 countries, including UNICEF and PHO procurement. Now imagine a company right here, born right in India, and delivering medicines across the world. Isn't that leadership? They have the strongest supply chain. They are developing some of the best vaccines in the world and some of the cheapest vaccines in the world, which can be even afforded by third world countries of Africa. Such is the leadership of Bharat Biotech. But let's not just stop at Bharat Biotech. The second one which I have for you is for the rich countries as well as the poor and it's called Serum Institute of India. Yes, you heard me right. Serum Institute of India has been there right here at the heart of Pune and has been called world's largest manufacturer of vaccines by number of doses produced and sold globally. You know how many? 1.5 billion doses of vaccines are manufactured and sold right here in India. Most popular product which they have got in recent years is Covishield. I'm sure some of you have taken that shot. Let me know in the comment section. That the, this was a famous question during the pandemic. Whether you did you take Covaxin or Covishield, right? AstraZeneca Oxford COVID-19 vaccine called Covishield has been extensively produced, mass produced in this company. Pneumococcal vaccine, HPV vaccine and various other deadly disease vaccines are manufactured by Cyrus Poonawala and his team in Pune, Serum Institute of India. He's even funded by Bill Gates and many other big billionaires and that reflects what kind of achievements we have done in the last 50 years. 170 countries across the world are receiving vaccines from Serum Institute of India and they are immunizing two-thirds of the world's children. And if that is something to be surprised about, let's not stop there and talk about Biocon Biologics. One of the leading biosimilar pr producers globally partnered with Mylan Viatris, first company to get FDA approval for biosimilar Transtuzumab, which is used for breast cancer. Imagine. All these Western companies such as Pfizer, Novo Nordisk, Novartis has been penetrating across the world. This lady right from Bengaluru takes a flight to US and destroys their monopoly, right? Creates amazing products, amazing medicines, amazing solutions for the world at cheaper low cost. That's called biosimilar. Dr. Kiran Majumdar Shah. So she has been leading the world of biotechnology with her company called as Biocon Biologics. And Biocon has other arms also, we'll be talking about that. But before, before that, let's not forget Dr. Krishna Ella. His company, Dr. Reddy's Laboratories, has been among the top global generic and biosimilar players. And very recently, Dr. Reddy's is also now an AI in drug discovery player with their launch with the Sputnik COVID-19 COVID vaccine in India. They have exclusive licensing deal with Russia. So the entire Sputnik V COVID-19 vaccine was manufactured by Dr. Reddy's. By doing this, they're not just bringing a lot of dollars to India, they are employing youth, employing a lot of you. So next time you doubt the biotech industry, 
Remember these companies, they are hiring in bulk and they are giving very good salary as well. Now let's move on to the next one. We have Genova from Biopharmaceuticals. Have you heard of them? I'm sure many of you might not have heard of them, but India's first mRNA vaccine developer, Gemcovac 19 for COVID-19 was developed by Genova Bio Biopharmaceuticals. Working on the next gen, mRNA platform with thermostable formulations solving the cold chain challenges for vaccines because vaccines have to be delivered in cold storage. These guys have worked on a next-gen mRNA platform with thermostable formulation so it doesn't degrade even if it is kept at the normal temperature. That reduces the cost of shipping and of course it, these guys are slated to become the world leader in vaccines. Now let's not stop here. This is the fifth company from India. The sixth one which Will amaze you. I'm sure you have heard of it. Panacea Biotech. Have you heard of them? Let me know in the comment section. They are developing several combinations of vaccines like EZ5TT, world's first fully liquid pentavalent vaccine. Right? And they, they are supplying these vaccines to UNICEF, PHO and strategic tie-ups uh, has been done with Serum Institute and various other biotech companies to develop these vaccines at mass scale. So that's Panacea Biotech for you. And moving on, the seventh one for you, which is leading the world of biotech from India is Premas Biotech. They developed the first triple and antigen virus-like particle VLP vaccine candidate for COVID-19. They focus on recombinant protein production, precision medicine, and synthetic biology solutions, and they are leading in what they are doing. So Premus Biotech, ladies and gentlemen, are, are one such candidate which can probably potentially hire a lot of people in the future, and they are killing it. They are ruling the world of vaccines and biotech products with their innovation. Now, remember I told you about a sister concern of Biocon and that was Syngene, yes. The eighth one I have for you is Syngene from the Biocon Group, world-class contact research organization providing discovery, development and manufacturing services. Their clients are not just normal Indian companies. Foreign companies are coming and outsourcing their work to Syngene, Bristol, Mayer, Squibb, Amgen, Pfizer, Novo Nordis, these are some of their clients. They have advanced biological research facility, integrated R&D for global pharma and biotech giants and that's what makes them a unique combination, a CRO which is there to deliver global results to global partners. So that's another leader from the biotech industry right here from India. Now, the ninth one which I have for you is Strand Life Sciences. Have you heard of them? Strand Life Sciences is a leader in genomics-based diagnostics and precision medicine. They offer one of the most comprehensive cancer genomics testing platform in Asia. Significantly, they have collaborations with international cancer centers and pharma companies. And this is where Strand Life Sciences with their bioinformatics work is leading the world of biotech in India and the world. Now, move, moving forward, the 10th one which I have for you is Laurus Biotech. Also, earlier it was called as Rich Core Life Sciences. They specialize in animal origin free recombinant protein and enzymes. They have supplied critical raw materials for cell culture, vaccines, biologics manufacturing globally. Now, these are some of the top companies in biotech, but apart from that, there are certain pharma companies also who are making a lot of noise. Have you heard of Intas Pharmaceuticals? Well, they are leading biosimilar products in US and U EU. Have you heard of Zydus Life Sciences? They have developed the Zycov D, the world's first DNA-based COVID-19 vaccine. Have you heard of the Bangalore Biotech Labs or Metahelix? They are known for agri-biotech innovation, especially in plant genomics. And of course, have you heard of Biotechnica? We are leading the world of biotechnology career. So we have a lot of firsts from India. India is leading the world of biotech with all these companies. They just quietly innovate rather than make the noise. So let's not focus on the noise. Let's focus on the real truth. And the real truth, my dear friend, is biotech industry is growing and they are hiring right here through Biotechnica. These 10 companies and many more are hiring through Biotechnica. So are you, are you waiting on the sidelines thinking that some magic will happen and you'll, you'll get a job? Well, you should not. Subscribe to Biotechnica's newsletter and we'll get you a job sooner than you think. All the best.